Hey everybody, this is GliderCat and it's time to play. Today I'm taking a first look at a very cool automation game called Shapes. Shapes used to be known as Shapes.io, but they've recently dropped the IO part and now it's just Shapes. And my thanks goes out to the developer for granting my request for a press key so I could bring this content to you. Now I've been aware of Shapes for a very long time and it's one of many games that I've been meaning to get on the channel since what seems like forever. For the longest time though, my understanding of Shapes was that it's a quote unquote minimalist automation game where you cut, paste, and paint different shapes together and then set out to produce huge quantities of them. And with that as my first impression, I just kept putting Shapes on the back burner and chose other games to play and put on the channel first. So I just kept getting pushed down. Now, while all of what I just described about shapes is true, there's really a lot more to this game than just that. And I'm confident it'll scratch the itch of any factory automation gaming enthusiast. It's really, really, really quite good. Now, let's watch a couple of the short trailers for the game, and then we'll come back and talk more about it. Uh, first, I just want to quickly thank GladderCat patrons and channel members, as always. Uh, their support is what makes videos like this possible. So thank you, patrons and channel members, sincerely. Okay, now on to the trailers. Here we go. Okay, so those are a couple of the trailers for the game and we're looking at some of the screenshots also from the steam page now you play shapes on a huge if not infinite map and in that sense it reminds me a bit of factorio in that you can end up building absolutely enormous distributed factories if you so choose now on the map there are various deposits i guess i'll call them some of which are paints and there are three types of paint deposits red green and blue You'll use all three of these just as they are, and by combining them, you can produce four additional colors that you're going to need uh, as you play on. Now, in addition to the paint deposits, there are deposits where you can harvest the many, many different shapes in the game. Now, some of these you can use just as they are, some of the shapes, and others you're going to need to cut apart and assemble into completely new and unique shapes that, again, you're going to need in order to meet the various objectives that the game throws at you. Shape starts off easy with some very simple shapes to create that you don't even need to paint them. And um, before you send them off to your hub via conveyor belts. Also, it's worth mentioning the belts and all the various machines that you'll be using in the game don't cost any resources. So you can place and delete as many as you want, as often as you want. There's no real impact. But most of the shape, most of the machines in the game, you will need to unlock first. And you do that by completing objectives. Now, in order to complete the early objectives in the game, you don't need to produce that many items. It's pretty easy. It's also easy to get the impression early on as you're playing that shapes might actually play just like an idle game, right? Where you can just kind of take your time and, and poke along and you're mainly just going to be waiting. But the game is quick to remind you that it's not an idle game. And developing your factory to produce at huge scale is a fundamental focus. And it's how you progress as you play. So while early on, you might only need to provide a quantity of say 70 simple to manufacture shapes to your hub in order to complete one of the early objectives, 
before you know it, you'll be supplying multiple tens of thousands of complex shapes that require multi-step production chains. So as you complete your objectives, you'll unlock new abilities like the ability to create blueprints and cut and paste large sections of your factory. That's a huge, huge time saver. As you will come to learn, you're going to be building some very large factories as you work to complete the game's objectives. You'll also unlock new machines uh, that will be necessary to complete the more complex objectives to come. Some of these machines will allow you to manipulate um, shapes in various ways and mix those paint colors like I mentioned and there's rotate shapes. A lot of these different machines are going to unlock as you go and they'll get new abilities. And lastly, you'll unlock performance gains for your machines that will help increase your throughput. Now, once you've completed an objective and supplied the required number of shapes to the hub to unlock an upgrade, you might think it's okay to just tear down that particular factory since you no longer need to produce those shapes. Well, think again. Often the same shapes will come up in future objectives, or you might use those, uh, those shapes that you needed for a previous objective and just tweak them a little to satisfy a new objective. So it's always in your best interest to preserve your individual factories for the future. Now, this is where factory layout and scaling becomes a huge focus of the game. Now, I mentioned it's not an idle game, but there are no time pressures, at least not in the base game. But as you play, again, you're quite naturally going to want to scale things up because the quantities of shapes that you need to produce keep on increasing as you go. Now, I've had a ton of fun playing shapes and way more than I first expected to. The game really draws you in, and before you know it, you're going to find yourself telling yourself, I just want to get this one last shape into production before I quit, as the hours just kind of disappear as you play. So I've had that come up several times. Because you've got any, any given time, once you get into the game, you've got several different objectives that you're trying to complete. And so there's just this real strong temptation to just get that one last shape done before you quit for the day. Uh, but again, it's a ton of fun. Now there's a free demo of shapes available on Steam and I very highly recommend checking that out to see if the game hooks you like it did me. The game is also sitting at an overwhelmingly positive review rating on Steam and in my opinion that rating is very well earned. And that wraps up this first look at shapes. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more actual gameplay, I do have a Let's Play of Shapes that will be posting to the GladderCat channel a day or two after this video posts, so definitely check that out. Also, if you enjoy learning about cool games just like Shapes, I highly recommend at least browsing the games featured in my First Look playlist. I'll put a link to that in the description, and there are literally dozens of cool games in that list, and I know you'll find at least a few that you weren't even aware of. Now, I'll also include all the links for Shapes in case you want to try out that demo I mentioned or join the game's Discord. Lastly, if you've enjoyed this and maybe some other videos on the Glider channel as well, I hope you'll consider becoming a supporter. Uh, there are links to do that in the description, or you can just click on the thanks button below to leave a small tip. Small channels like mine truly do rely on that support to stay afloat and have a chance to grow. And I'm grateful for the viewers so far that have uh, already chosen to help out the channel. Thank you very much. I deeply appreciate it. And with that, this is GladderCat saying thanks so much for watching. I really, really mean it. And I'll see you in the next one.